it's really nice having a store like this with a bunch of reels to be able to come shop in. So here we are, the Battle 2. That's a 3000 series. Here it is, a 2500. All right, got a choice to make, either 2500 or the 3000. I'm thinking the 3000 for a good salt water reel. Love Cabela's being super close to home. It is awesome. So the Pin Battle 2. This is the 3000 series and uh, I've never used a pin spinning reel, much less a bait caster ever before. And we are going to see what it's all about. This, okay, so first off, let's thank all the patrons out there. I really appreciate it. It's because of your contributions that this review is going to even be possible. Before the month of September is completely done with, I will do a giveaway and one of you lucky patrons out there is going to be able to use this thing. Let's open this thing up and see what she looks like. Gosh, this thing is heavy. I mean, it is really heavy. Not that it matters, but just for my own knowledge and sake, we're gonna measure it. Uh, that is 12.2 ounces for the Pin Battle 3000. And the only thing that I have to compare it to is what I currently use, and that's my Shimano Sustain 4000. That is 12.1 ounces with a full spool of fishing line. Uh, it comes in right under 0.1 ounce lighter. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. A uh, good thing in that if uh, you're thinking about quality, well, it is heavy and the material that this thing is made with is pretty stout. So that's the good thing. Uh, bad thing, well, whenever you're casting all day long with something like this, you want it to be as light as you possibly can get it, but also uh, strong enough to be able to withstand everyday abuse. Man, how do I get this thing on? So, I don't know, we'll see. Time will tell most definitely whenever we get out there and start actually catching fish with it and using it. It's got a lot of resistance whenever you're reeling. It's, it doesn't flow smoothly, but for the amount of money that we spent on it, it's roughly about $112 with tax. That's with a military discount. Uh, first impression, uh, looks nice. Uh, very bold colors. Got that matte black finish with a gunmetal uh, crank and a nice big saltwater style uh, handle. Nice sounding drag. I'm telling you what, spinning reels, that's where it's at when you want to hear that really good drag sound. Listen to that. Pretty nice. Very stout reel. I'm going to do a field test review on this and hopefully it's going to be able to handle everything that I put it through. If I have got to re-spool this bad boy with some new fishing line, take a look at that. That's what happens whenever you don't follow the manufacturer's recommendations. We're gonna go try and find some uh, 30 pound braid because that right there was 65 pound and I took the cheap route, wanted to use some of my old 65 pound test and it did not work. Uh, put some new fishing line on there, that's 30 pound. Let's see what this guy is capable of handling. <laughs> that's a that's pretty smooth drag right there. 30 pound test, so I seriously doubt that he's going to have what it takes to snap my line. If anything, it's going to be the hook that bends. Here we go. We got him in. I tell you what, this pin battle too is definitely getting the job done. I mean, he's got smooth drag. Look at that. At a nice price point too. <laughs> he's a he's a nice overslot right there. There we go. We got him. That's a nice one. Pulling some drag.
You gotta be kidding me, that's a little shark. Well, at least the battle's getting a little workout. Man, I thought I had like something really nice on. Well, he's got a lot of head shakes. Cinch down that drag a little bit more. <laughs> I think we got a red on the line. Ah. Uh. Oh, I just got some color of it. Oh, that's a nice red. Boy, that guy hit it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Boy, this pin battle too. Bringing them in. Like it ain't nothing. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, let's see what he did. He straightened out the hook. Look at that. Oh, I put too much pressure on him both hooks inside his mouth too that was a nice size red oh my god i cannot believe i just lost him the drag is definitely smooth uh, it's got what it takes to bring in some nice size upper slots the, uh, i brought in an over slot and then like mid slot reds with this thing and the drag was flawless it did not fail me uh, it holds a lot of line so that's a plus in my book as well approximately what did i get on here uh, 150 yards of 30 pound test and we still have room for some so i think the manufacturer rates it as being able to spool with about 180 yards of line and you can definitely tell that that's the case uh let's see what else do i got to say about it uh that's pretty much it uh just trying to keep this review basic and simple just letting you know as i used it and applied it to fishing uh, what it what it was capable of doing uh, it, it's a really good reel uh, and at the price point uh, it's i mean it's within reach for the majority of you anglers out there it's like i've spent a touch over 100 dollars. So i think it's like 108 dollars to be exact somewhere around there and you get a great bang for your buck at I'm gonna consider this like a little above entry level uh, this reel is great um, so the few things and, and this is just me being nitpicky so all you pin lovers out there go ahead I already feel you hitting the thumbs down button but I mean I'm just gonna say it uh, this thing is heavy it is a tank so my 4000 series spinning reel was spooled with a uh, a full spool of braid and it weighed in at just shy of what this reel came in with zero braid or zero line on its spool so it's kind of heavy and the main reason why i went and i stopped using some of my other reels when i became a full-time fisherman was because they were heavy they were big they were bulky they were hurting my wrist they were taking a beating day after day out there long hours on the water eight hours plus sometimes for some days like an average day actually and that equates to just being fatigued and that is the only other thing but uh, that may not bother the majority of y'all out there because you're probably going to just use it over the weekend uh, it is a great reel. I am by no means talking down about this thing. Pen, y'all have built a winner and it is magical at its price point. Definitely hard to beat. I see what the fuss is about and I know why pen lovers uh, gravitate towards these things because they are tanks. Okay, so that is it. I've got some fish busting up on bait behind me. I am going to get back to some fishing i want to thank you all for watching this review video i hope it helps some of you out there that were possibly just looking at this reel trying to research it it is a winner good luck if you do buy it get out there fish it put it through the paces and i guarantee you're not going to be disappointed if you like the video click that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel and want to see more reviews i will be doing them on a monthly so uh, we'll see what the next fishing reel is going to be that we can bring out here into the field see how it's going to handle and if it's worth 
what everybody hypes it up to be. This thing, thumbs up, it's a winner. All right, till next time, tight lines, everyone.